Cryptonauts, we are back. I just received an email notice from ethermine.org. One of my miners is down, one of my workers, so I will go figure out what is happening. You can see I'm holding, I'm, I was getting up under a little under 900, 882, and that's pretty interesting. I want to get to one giga hash one day, one day in the future. What do I do now? I scroll down and I see inactive workers. This is uh, ethermine.org, the poll for ethash. I do not use HiveOS, uh, NiceHash, or Awesome Miner to monitor my rigs at this point. I like having total control with Windows, and these polls offer notification systems that I can then find out, oh, something's down, go kick it in the butt and get it back online. So that one's down, zero reported hash rate. What do I do next? So right there is my trigger. It tells me, hey, something's down. It tells me to go look so I don't have to actively check every day, every second. Uh, what I do next is I go over to my remote access Chrome remote desktop. Every one of these uh, computers, these rigs, has Google Chrome remote desktop on them so I can access them from my account. And then if you look, I can also see 7 is offline. Uh, this is a second monitoring monitoring tool. Uh, they don't send out emails or anything, but you can visually see if anything goes offline and go check on it. But EtherMine right now for me tells me something's down, as well as nice um, nice hash. I use that to run unmanaged rigs where I just mine ethash to uh, the wallet on nice hash, and it pays in Bitcoin. Sometimes I'm not thinking I want to go that route. Is to get paid directly in Bitcoin for mining other coins because the GUI, the Ether, um, the Ethereum, the uh, ERC network, all that network gas fee is ridiculous. It's just, it's a killer. You're paying all these fees just to move the uh, ETH Ethereum you, you mined and it's just like, well, what's the point? You know, it just drives you nuts after a while. So that's a thought, but right now it's still on, majority is on ETHash. So what do I do now? I'm going to walk over and uh, the machine is up and I'll show you that in a sec. So stand by as I got to take a break using my crappy iPhone. I've got to um, recharge it. <laughs> do you see how prepared I am for these things? This is a spur of the moment video to show you basically a day in the life of how I keep these things up and running. So thank God I get the Ethermine email. Now I check my remote desktop. I cannot access it. But my suspicion is this is a 3070 Ti. The G, the CPU mining always is rock solid for me. But the 3070 Ti, I use the curve editor to set the voltage, and sometimes it just goes crazy. I don't know. It just it's been running stable for a while, but it's 3070 Ti just goes out sometimes and causes Windows to crash. But I don't have a dedicated monitor on that machine, so I can't see if it's a blue screen. You know the uh, Nvidia. TUD or whatever that, uh, that error code is for memory issues with the uh, clock settings on the uh, NVIDIA GPU. That's my hunch. You start to see patterns of life and you pretty much suspect, oh, that's what's going on. So let me go. I'm going to, I'll show you. I'll cycle this thing down and power it back up and we'll reset it and get it mining again. All right. First, I charge my phone. All right. I am back. The phone is charged up. This is the culprit. I labeled them number seven. There's the motherboard, the Ryzen 3900, the Ryzen 9 3900. This is the 3070 Ti. And what I do, I gotta turn this power off. So I got this switch right here. <laughs> if I can get it, there we go. Little switchy, see that? Hold that down. Come on, buddy. Shut down. There we go. Give it a second. Look at that. Let it spin down. All right, I'm going to fire this back up. So this is um, untethered. I use a TP-Link, I think. I can't remember the brand. It's a, a wireless USB. And I use that since I ran out of um, ports on my network switch. I only have five and I'm out. 
it's not too cheap to buy a uh, bigger switch, which this, this works just fine. There it goes, it's blinking, so this guy should be up soon. So let's go check now Google Chrome Remote Desktop and see if I can access this. Now the only con I'm going to say of this is because I don't have a monitor direct out of the video card. I can't see the BIOS and the boot up. If I need to do that, I'm going to have to hook a monitor up, run a cable over HDMI cable to this guy, and then I can see the boot. And if I ever need to get into the boot configuration, that's how I do it. It's a pain in the butt, but once you're set up and running, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Back over here, you can see number seven is back online. So what do I do? Click on that connects nb minor so here's what i do i go nb minor i'm running eve there's my stuff i don't have any settings in there so what i have to do is um for the gpu go to msi afterburner there's probably easier ways guys i know with t-rex minor i'll do a video on that next you can set all the overclock settings in the actual bat file so when you start up you can it's all set memory core fan speeds, all that set in the batch file. And um, that's the way to go. You don't need MSI Afterburner at all. But on this one I do, because I'm running uh, MB Minor to get the hash improvement for this 3070 Ti. So what I do, come over here. You can see there's the card. I select my profile, my save profile. Those are my settings. I do Control F, Control F, shows my curve editor and I have it set at 950 so it doesn't go any higher if I don't have that set this thing spikes sometime and it just doubles in the power usage and everything it goes crazy man I think it's gonna like you know kablammo it I just so that's why I set that you know it just works for me and makes it sort of stable uh, maybe this runs a week without having any issues but so I do that everything looks good those are the settings kablammo checkbox kicks it off. I'll just go over here and right click. Run as admin. And there it goes. There's my uh, ETH wallet. If you want to send me some ETH, please do. Rocko Taco 7. Spinning up. No errors. No red. No red. And I'm going to ethermine.org. All right. So that's up. So as we mentioned, this is CPU mining as well. Here's my favorite tool, Hardware Info 64, run sensors only. There's my sensors. I can see I'm running a Ryzen 9 3900, so I'm gonna kick that off. Get rid of that, don't need that anymore. Close some windows. <sighs> oh, I hit the wrong window. Oh gosh, hold on. Made a folder miners, CPU miners, Raptorium, and I'm back on CPU miner and flock pool because 011 data and all these other ones, the smaller pools I was using for Raptorium kept getting API errors and crapping out. And I said, ah, I'm not going to waste my time with that until they get more stable. So I went back to flock pool, check my config, it's there, and I'm going to run this guy as administrator. It probably already runs as administrator since I have the property set to run as administrator, but this just makes sure it does. All right. So I get this sometimes, failed. That's usually when it crashes due to the GPU. So what I do is I just control C out of that. Trying to do this one-handed. Terminate. That's gone. That clears it up, and I run it again. But I think because it did a hard abort out of the script because the GPU caused Windows to go toes up. There you go, red's gone. I'm donating to the dev. Give him some juicy uh, Cryptorium. No more red, and we're up and running. So this is good to go. Let's push this down here. Remote desktop can be a little clunky when you're moving Windows around, but for what, it, for what I'm doing, it's perfect. Now we're running, we're getting 48, 49 hash on the, oh, I can't read that, 40. 
it'll probably creep up a little more. About 40 and CPU is mining. All right, guys, that is all I have. That's how I tr pretty much restart a crypto worker that has failed, how I monitor it, how I get notified it's down, and what I do just to reset it. Uh, everything looks good. I make sure that's set. The uh, curve editor on this card specifically, I don't set it for all cards, but the 37 Ti I do because it's just it was it's just a problem child. Um, and there's my clock settings. Like I said, if you use T-Rex, you can set most of the uh, overclock settings in line in the batch file. And But it, I think T-Rex only works on NVIDIA cards. All right. Where's that dog? Where's the dog? Where is he? All right, I got to go find the dog.